sweet friends, welcome back. Today we are decorating here behind me in our entryway. Now I'll be refreshing the space for spring and probably even adding in some Easter decor as well. I have a couple of DIY projects that require some drying, so I think we better start there. If you are new, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. I am currently in my spring decorating series and that's where I bring you inside our home from room to room as I redecorate and refresh the space according to the season. I also love to bring you along as I shop for home decor and I love sharing my hauls. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy watching, I would love if you would consider subscribing before you go. Now, if you do enjoy today's video and you find it helpful, I would appreciate a big thumbs up. All right, well, I'll go ahead and turn you around and show you the space and all the areas that we'll be decorating today, and then we'll get started on those DIY projects. Right next to our front door, we have this space that is just big enough to fit a small cabinet. I found this one from Amazon. I love having the extra space for storage. This can be used for shoe storage, but I keep a lot of my little decor pieces in it. Above the cabinet, I hung a round mirror that has the most beautiful gold frame. A mirror is a must in my opinion, especially in a smaller space, so that it reflects the light and helps to create a larger looking space. Plus, having it right next to the front door, you can quickly check yourself before heading out or greeting visitors. Also, fairly new to this space is this table lamp. Its beautiful high gloss dark green color is perfect for bringing in a moodier look, which I am all about right now. It features a white empire shade for a beautiful crisp look. Having lots of different lighting options within the entryway helps to create a welcoming space where you can easily relax. Another way to add a welcoming feel is to add some softness with a runner. This vintage style Laloy runner brings in those rich moody colors and not to mention it hides dirt. It also matches the ones that I have in our kitchen and I think that repeating the same rug in a small area like we have helps connect the two spaces and makes it feel more cohesive. Our entryway is pretty much a hallway that connects three of our main rooms, our dining room, kitchen, and living room. So straight ahead from the front door to the right on the wall next to our coat closet, we have a row of books that I love to decorate. I will keep these beautiful bird prints that came from Hobby Lobby. I love that they bring in that sense of spring and that they have perfect sayings on them for the entryway. Happy here and stay a while. Swinging over to the opposite side along our staircase wall and in front of our board and batten, we have this console table that I'm excited to completely restyle for spring. Above the console table, we have additional lighting with these two sconces. Since we didn't have electricity on this wall for the lighting, we instead opted to just hang them and install puck lights on a remote, which work perfectly. Now I'll quickly explain this DIY block hanger that we use to hang artwork against our board and batten. Now because of this wooden piece or lip, our artwork before was very difficult to level. My hubby's genius solution was to cut a block the same depth as that overhang which allows it to hang plumb. I secured it to the wall with a couple of Velcro command strips, added a screw at the top so that when I hang the artwork with a picture wire, it is a nice and secure. And then I also went ahead and painted it the same color as our walls so that it would disappear if you would view it from the side. First things first, we need to start on the wall art. So here is the canvas rolled print that I got from Amazon. And so my idea is to take this project board. The print is 24 by 36 inches. So I think I'll just have to cut these edges off and it will be the perfect size to be the backing for this canvas. Now I'm gonna move these coupons here. And oh, by the way, Kohl's has a new furniture and home decor line. If you would like for us to take a trip there and be interested in that, I will definitely do that. But I'm gonna move these out of the way and get started. So I will be using this Mod Podge. Now it is in the matte finish and a paintbrush to apply it to this part of the cardboard 
or the project board, and then we will smooth the canvas out on this, and then to create a more authentic looking oil painting, we'll also be using some of the Mod Podge on it to give it some brush strokes, which will be really pretty. I've did this in the past, so I wanna create that same look here. So we gotta get this all finished so that it has time to dry, and then we can hang it later on in the afternoon. I can feel there is somebody here And he's watching over me tonight As he takes away my fears Let's me know there's a heaven up there Yeah, he's reaching out his hand to me To wash away my tears Oh, oh I know you And I praise you Got my arms open for your love Oh, oh I want to I hear angels from up above. They sing hallelujah. Next is the fun part where you get to pretend to be a natural Da Vinci and put brush strokes all over your printed canvas art. Now, you really can't go wrong. You're just creating different brush strokes, much like what you would see in an oil painting. For my landscape wall art, I wanted to create more texture within the trees towards the bottom. So I did more of a stomping technique and used more glue. As I moved up towards the skyline, I wanted it to look more sweeping and linear, so I created X-like strokes for a less textured look. Before all the glue dries, it does look a little bit scary. You may think that you have ruined it, but trust me, give it some time to dry and all of that texture that you just created will just pop. For our second DIY project, we're gonna head outside and we're gonna take these little white ceramic bunnies and take them up a notch to the next level. I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum multicolor texture to transform these otherwise typical ordinary ceramic bunnies into a more high-end looking stone bunny. Okay folks, I have to be honest, I am the worst spray painter ever and typically I hand this job over to my sweet hubby Scott. But today you're gonna see, I tried it myself and I picked the worst day ever. We actually had a wind advisory, so you can picture what's going on. <laughs> so I had multiple drips because I was trying to get super close, which you can't do. So if you just take your time and really do light multiple coats, choose a day that it isn't a wind advisory <laughs> and this will absolutely turn out fantastic. Heading back upstairs while all these projects dry, I have one last quick DIY project. Since adding the gold mirror to our entryway, I've been wanting to change the knobs on the cabinet to coordinate better with that gold. So all I'm going to do is remove the hardware and then I'm going to take some rub and buff in that antique gold and quickly transform the hardware with little to no effort. And I praise you, got my arms open for Sing hallelujah. Oh. Oh. I can't believe what a difference this made. Don't underestimate the little details. I think they can really pull a room together. I really love just this little minor change. Since we're right here at the cabinet, let's go ahead and decorate the top of it for spring. Now, since we are just a week away from Easter, I'm going to go ahead and add this He is Risen plaque to fill in the space just beneath the mirror and to balance the large lamp. Next, I'm coming in with this coffee table book titled Arranging Things. Then, nestled between the plaque and the lamp, I'm placing a small pot of greenery. I just can't resist adding a bit of green within the vignette, especially during the spring. To the top of the coffee table book, I'm adding this dark brown handled bowl that I found from the store at home. 
And then to add just a touch more of spring, I'll add a few speckled eggs to complete the look. Now moving on to the wall hooks, let's add some fun seasonal decor to refresh the space for spring. First, I'm hanging this gold frame floral piece that came from Hobby Lobby. Next to it, I'm coming in with this wall basket. Now I did add a few shopping bags to fill the bottom. On the third hook, I'm adding this brass watering can. And lastly, I'm going to add this garden trowel that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I love its wooden handle. And these items are not only pretty, but they're also functional, especially when the weather warms up and I can get out there and start watering and planting flowers. Now to the wall basket, I'm going to add one of my favorite florals for springtime, and that is these beautiful cosmos. At this point, I believe the artwork is dry enough to get it inside a frame that I got from Amazon and get that hung up. So let's go ahead, work on that and see how it turns out. So here are the little rabbits. Now, if you remember, they were just white ceramic ones that you can get from the Target Dollar Spot. You can get them from, I mean, pretty much anywhere. But Scott's my spray painting man. And like I said, I was having to get pretty close in order to get the spray even on it. So there is some really bad like boo-boos here. On this one, I may try to spray him on another day and, you know, just do better. <laughs> but this one actually turned out really nice and I love the look. So my tips are definitely do light coats and do several instead of one big coat so that you don't have any runs and places where it's not going to stick. But I really love the look. I think it makes them look super high end and really unique. So I love that. Now coming over here, I absolutely love the brush strokes on this canvas print, but another boo-boo. I was trying to hurry and trying to get this done all at once. And so as you can see up here, I have a bubble that the canvas is not attached to the cardboard behind. I'm going to keep it as is today, but I may try to peel that up and Mod Podge it back down. So tip make sure to kind of do this maybe in two days glue the canvas down to the cardboard even lay down some books on the end to keep it nice and pushed down and weighted because i noticed it wanted to curl as well i know a smaller artwork piece would probably work a lot better this is pretty large you know it's 36 by 24 so that I'm real sad about that but you know maybe I can figure out a way that I don't have to peel it all back but I mean it won't be that bad if I do have to peel that back I do love all the texture though that the paint gave to this so this is a lot more sturdy than the other way that I did it and so I I'm planning to do this in the dining room as well. So stay tuned for that, but I love this print. It just is so calm. It reminds me of all the hills here in West Virginia. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up and deal with that a little bit later, but that's my tips for you. All right, so let's go ahead, grab this and get it on the wall. To style one side of the console table, if you remember, I'm bringing back in this gorgeous vessel that I picked up from Home Goods and shared with you in a decor haul. Now, inside it, I'm going to add three stems of this specific greenery that matches the smaller one that I placed on the cabinet next to the front door. 
I'm just going to add them to the vessel and let them just kind of drape naturally for a beautiful organic element. Next to the vessel, I'm adding this round wooden riser and the wood coordinates really nicely with the frame. Then I'm going to add a few sprigs of the green baby's breath, kind of just laying it very casually on top. And then nestled within this greenery, I'm going to place both of my DIY faux stone bunny rabbits. To the opposite side of the console, I'm bringing in a coffee table book titled Celebrating Home. I just absolutely love the green linen cover. And atop it, I'll then bring in a gold candle abra and for a bit of texture, this sweet little basket that was a Goodwill find. And then inside it, I'm going to place three grapevine carrots that I got from Walmart. Moving along to the bottom shelf, I'm going to grab one of my favorite antique finds, which are these two large jugs. Can you believe I was able to score both of these for just $25? So I think that was a total score. Now to create a small grouping of three, I'm going to add this jumping bunny that was another cute Easter find from Walmart. Finally, to the bottom shelf on this side, I'm returning the boat basket that I always keep here. I'm changing out the blanket that once was here for a lighter weight cotton material and in this beautiful green color that relates back to all the green elements that are going on in the room. All right, sweet friends, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe got some new ideas for doing some DIYs or refreshing your spaces for spring. I also loved adding just a little bit of Easter decor since it is just around the corner. Well, I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you've liked what you saw today, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Now, as we end our time together, I always love to share with you a daily Bible verse. So today I'm going to be reading from Psalm 108 verses 3 through 5. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you back next time for more decorating for spring, or maybe we'll even do some shopping. I'd really like to check out Kohl's, so definitely let me know if that would interest you down below. Well, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week, and I will see you back real soon. Take care and God bless, friends. Bye.